So we're going to create a view on this SQL 2012 database. Oh, screen sharing, sorry. There we go. So we're going to work with this customer orders database here. And in the customer orders database, there's just a, a few tables here. Uh, we've got the customers table, the orders table, products, and order details. It's similar to the old Northwind Trader database, if you're familiar with that. So we're going to open a new query window. And we will select from, we'll select from the customers table. And F5 to execute. And we see the customers that we have in the customers table. Now, I believe we also have some orders out here. So let's select star from the orders table. We'll highlight that and execute it. So it looks like we've got uh, an order for customer number 100 and another order for customer number 200 placed by employee number one and employee number two. So I bet we can probably do a nice little join between customers and orders. We'll give orders the alias O and customers the alias C. And we'll say join those on the C dot that's right, C dot ID equals O dot customer ID. And then maybe we want to also join the order details table, call it OD, on o.orderID, or ID equals od.orderID. And maybe one step further, we'll join that products table. Call that P on OD dot product ID equals P dot ID. Now let's execute that just to make sure it works. We see that uh, Antoine Victor is customer number 100. Joe Blow is customer number 200. There's the address. And then uh, the employee that processed the order the unit price and quantity of the product that was purchased uh, and the name of the product. Oh wow, that's a heck of a deal on Windows 7, $5. All right, so now that we are satisfied with our output, uh, or perhaps we aren't satisfied, maybe we wanna just get the customer's first name and the customer's last name and perhaps the order date. and maybe just the name of the product and the unit price. So unit price and p.name. p.name, comma, p. Oh, I guess that's in the OD. Where is unit price? I guess that it's in products, but it's not, so. Ah, order details. So, OD dot unit price. Run that one more time. There we go. Now we have more concise and useful data. And now we will create our view.
call it uh, customer orders full as the following select statement. F5 to execute. And now that we have our view, we can actually delete this. And then we can do select star from customer orders full. And F5 to execute. That's right, I added the V at the beginning. F5 to execute. And there is the results of our view, and now we never have to think about that join clause again.